Have you heard the news? Azure Data Studio is being retired. If you've been using it to connect to SQL Server, write queries and browse databases, this might feel like a big change, but don't worry. In this video, I'll show you how to use Visual Studio Code with the Microsoft SQL extension, which is a powerful, lightweight and flexible way to work with SQL Server. It's the alternative to Azure Data Studio that Microsoft recommends. You'll learn how to install the tools, connect your database, write and run queries, and even browse the database, all from inside VS Code. Let's get started. Azure Data Studio was a great tool. I've used it in many videos and courses, but Microsoft has announced they're ending support for it and encouraging users to move to Visual Studio Code with the SQL Server MS SQL extension. This means you'll need a new setup if you want to keep working with SQL Server without going back to SQL Server Management Studio. And VS Code might actually be better for you. It's modern, fast, supports multiple languages and databases, and you might already be using it for coding. Plus, it already works on a Mac, unlike SSMS. So why not use it for SQL too? Also, to help you get the most out of the new extension and VS Code, check out my cheat sheet, which I've linked in the description. In this video, I'll walk you through installing the Microsoft SQL extension in VS Code, connecting to an SQL Server database, writing and running queries, and exploring tables and data. If you don't already have Visual Studio Code installed, go to code.visualstudio.com and download the latest version for your operating system. On my browser, it shows download for Windows as I'm on Windows. If you're on a Mac, it would show a download for Mac button. Download the installer, open it, and then follow the steps to install it like any other application. Once it's installed, open it up. Now let's install the Microsoft SQL extension. Click on the extensions icon on the left or press Ctrl Shift X. The icon looks like a couple of blocks. In the search bar, type MSSQL with no dashes or spaces and look for the SQL Server MSSQL by Microsoft. Click on it. Click Install. This extension gives VS Code the ability to connect to SQL Server, run queries, and work with your databases, which is similar to how Azure Data Studio worked. After installing it, reload VS Code if prompted. Let's connect to an SQL Server database. On the left, in the same area where you saw the extension, there will be a new icon here for SQL Server. Click on it. You'll see a connections panel here. It's empty because we don't have any connections. Click Add Connection. A new tab appears. You'll be prompted to enter the connection details. For the profile name, you can enter the name you want to give for the connection. I'll enter SQL Server Local. For the connection group, you can leave that as the default for now. The input type can remain as parameters. For the server name, enter the name of your server. This might be localhost if you have it installed on your computer, or the name of your database server. If you have any issues finding this, check the description and comments below this video where others may provide some suggestions and I'll update with anything I find. For the authentication type, change it to Windows Login if you use your Windows account. This is what I use in SSMS for my login, so I'll choose that. For the username and password, this will only show if you're using SQL authentication. It's hidden because I have selected Windows authentication. In the database name field, you can enter the default database to connect to. This is optional, so I'll leave this blank for now. For the encrypt field here, because I'm only using this on my local computer, I'll set this to optional. Once you have entered all of the details, click the connect button. The extension will try to connect to the database server. If it's successful, you'll see a confirmation at the bottom. You'll also see an entry on the left panel here, which represents your connection. It will have a little green icon next to it to indicate it is connected. Now you're ready to write SQL. Let's create a new SQL file. In VS Code, press Ctrl N to open a new file, or go to File, then New Text File. Then save it with a .sql extension by pressing Ctrl S or going to File, then Save. You should now see a range of buttons in the top right corner of the editor, including the Connect button. Click this connect button and choose the connection you created earlier, which I called SQL Server Local. Now, write a simple query like this one, where we select the database name. To run the query, press Ctrl Shift E or use the Run Query icon at the top. You'll see the results appear in a panel below your editor, just like in Azure Data Studio. If you want to improve your SQL skills while using this setup, 
check out the link in the description to grab my SQL Server in VS Code cheat sheet. You can also explore your database right inside VS Code. Just like in SSMS and Azure Data Studio, you can expand the connection on the left to see the databases. Expand databases and you'll see the different databases within the server. You will probably only see the system databases, or maybe another database if you have created one. The databases here are the ones I have created on my computer. You can then expand one of these databases to see the different types of objects, then expand an entry such as tables. You can see all of the tables in the database. It's a handy way to see what's in your database without needing a separate tool. So what's good and bad about this setup? First, the VS Code application is lightweight and fast. You'll notice it works in a similar way to Azure Data Studio, and it's faster to use than SSMS. It's also quite popular. According to the recent Stack Overflow survey, it's the most popular code editor on the market. You can add more extensions to VS Code, which adds a lot of other functionality that can help you in your job. It also works for Windows, Macs, and Linux. What about the limitations? Well, it's not a full replacement for SSMS. There are some advanced features that SSMS has that aren't available for this extension or in VS Code. So it's missing a few things, but for writing and running SQL queries, it's pretty good. So that's how you can switch from Azure Data Studio to Visual Studio Code with the Microsoft SQL extension. If you already use VS Code for coding, this gives you one less tool to manage and a faster way to work with SQL Server. When you start working with VS Code for SQL, you might start thinking about different ways to run your SQL Server and how to get it working in something like Docker. Watch this video next to learn how to set up a Docker container running SQL Server on your computer. Thanks for watching.